What are you doing? We are getting ready to go watch the bull riding. So when you stay here at Fairbaugh, just down the dirt road, uh, there's a little rodeo that, what's the name of it? Roses? Reese Ranch Rodeo. Reese Ranch Rodeo. So <laughs> we're getting ready to go check that out. It's uh, $10 for adults, kids get in free, kids under... I don't know, it just said kids we'll leave, free. We'll put it below. But uh, starts at 7, we're going to go up and check that out and hopefully see some bull riding. So stay tuned, we'll throw up some footage. If you're not already doing so, I ask, hope that I don't have to ask, that you stand. It's not mine, it's not only yours, it's our national anthem. Campground tour. We are destination full time RV. Yep. This week we went to Farrenbaugh Campground in Corning, New York. Uh, this campground is a 145 acre campground. 
Um, basically, it's split up into two different types of campground. One is kind of an open field, and then the south side of the campground is um, on the side of a hill and is uh, full of wood lots. Uh, you'll have a lot of seasonals mixed uh, with your, your regular uh, weekend rentals. Yeah, so let's jump right in and talk about what their sites looked like. So we were 4B, site 4B. So we were in the field section, the north side. Um, our spot was very roomy. You weren't right next to everyone. You had a little bit of room, uh, probably, I don't know, 20 feet between campers or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was um, very spacious. Tyler will put up a map right now to show you where we were, where we were at. So as soon as you pull into the campground, there's some campsites right to your left, and that's where we we're at. That's right. Um, something to note if you are in the, that area of the campground, just take note of which site you are and park before you go to check in. Yep, so what we found, we actually went past and we went to, right to the office. Once you get into that office area, um, you have to go across a bridge and find a spot to turn around to get back out. Or There's, just make a loop around the woods. Right. Yep, but but it's, it's just easier to park. Yes. And then go check yes, in. Yes, absolutely. It's not a far walk from from where we were down to the office. It would have been a little bit easier for mm -hmm. us to check in. Yeah. Um, I will say that even though you're in a field, they planted some maple trees a bunch of years ago, and they've actually grown up nice and provide quite a bit of shade in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So we were a little bit hesitant on getting those spots because of that. You know, still being uh, end of August, early September, could have had a hot day, and it would have been quite warm out there, but... Uh, those trees definitely provide a good bit of shade. Mm -hmm. um, also right there, there's a little playground. Yeah. Uh, nothing crazy, just a swing and a slide, but enough to keep the kids busy. While you unpack or while you pack back That's up. Right. Yeah. Yes. Um, <clears throat> those sites, like he said, were very spacious. Mm -hmm. There was, you didn't feel like you are crammed at all. I think that those sites are probably your best bet for a larger rig. Yeah. Um, there are some spots over in the wooded areas, and we'll point out which ones um, we liked and we would feel comfortable uh, with our rig getting in, but mm -hmm. um, as far as being easy to pull in or pull through sites, um, those are probably probably our favorite. Yeah, full hookup. Yep, full hookup. There's 30 and 50 amp full hookup. Water, septic, and um, basic cable, I think, for an extra $3 a night. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So if you were to continue past that, um, you're going to go across the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. That ra Those railroad tracks are active. They run twice a day. A yep. train goes through there twice a day. Um, so that, just a warning, it is loud. Yeah. It is not an it's, inconvenience. It's, it's kind of neat to see. Yeah. Just be careful with your kids right. and it may make, sure they make know your what dogs nervous. Exactly right. Yeah. So after you go past the railroad tracks, that's where your main hub of things to do is, and we will come back around yep. to the amenities. Let's just keep going so straight sites. through. Let's go to the sites um, past the office. Okay, so once you pass the office, um, you're going to go across the bridge. The first thing you're going to notice, um, there's a cabin down that lane, and then there's one uh, seasonal that's taken, um, and then there's site 0203. 04 and 05. So those are 30 amp electric and water. Uh, one thing that I noticed, um, you're going to want to bring an extension cord. Um, the post uh, is kind of back in the woods a little bit. So um, I would say if you come, maybe just make sure you have an extension cord to make sure you can get to that. Mm -hmm. um, and then continuing around, um, probably my favorite spot or our favorite spot. Uh, would be 141. It's a pull through. Um, there was a, a fifth wheel there when we were there, and it's right on the creek. Um, so that was kind of a really easy to get into um, spot. Kind of the way that this um, area of sites are, it's a lot of um, mix of seasonal, like permanent seasonals, mm -hmm. um, and what you can rent. So Something to know also when you start, once you get past the bridge um, and past the first couple of sites when you're driving, it is a gravel road and it is at an incline. Um, 
Yeah, you're going to be going on pill the yeah, whole time. Yeah, so when you ha if you ha get a back insight, just keep in mind you are going to be also at an incline. Yes. Um, um, we're going to post, we'll, we'll circle right here some of our favorite sites through, throughout the wooded area. Yes. I think, let's do that. Yep, so um, our favorite are uh, 141. Which it already said is the one right next to the creek. It had the fifth wheel in it. Um, site number one, three, and four were e really easy to get into. They had long, longer rigs than those. Um, site 102, uh, when we were there, actually had a big class A, so that one would be easy to get into. And then the ones that we liked um, are the 50 amp full hookup, 11C, 11B, and 11A. Um, those are, uh, you know, on a corner, so it would be really easy to back in, uh, but also had some bigger rigs when we were there. So I think that those would be, if you have anything, anything pushing 30 feet, uh, I would say uh, those sites would probably be your best options. Yeah. Um, they also have group areas where you can uh, camp. Um, they are right next to the creek, which is nice, but because of all of the rain we've gotten this year, th those sites right now were really, really wet. wet. That's right. Very wet. Yep. And there so, were some campers there, but yep. something to keep in mind. Yep. And they do have a couple cabins. Um, they were occupied when we were there, and I didn't. I wasn't able to get a whole lot of good footage. Um, I did get the one that's by lot uh, 120. That's kind of neat. It was almost like an old wagon, um, just a smaller cabin, but... Um, and they do have um, also through those wooded sites that, that a lot of their tent sites are up through that way, and mm -hmm. they do have two bathrooms up there, and they are old. Yes, they are like the original ba bathrooms. That's right. When the campground was first built. Yep. Yeah. Um. So, I guess basically right now I'll just throw up a, a list of the pricing um, for these sites. It really depends on the weekend that you go. Um, there's no easier way to cover it, but we'll post that um, right now. Yeah, it, it was a little bit more this weekend. It was Labor Day weekend, and they charged a little bit more on the big holiday weekends or event weekends. Yep. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. It and was a little bit. That's right. And it was a three-night um, minimal stay. For uh, a holiday for a weekend. Holiday. Yep. That's right. Yep. Which, um, I mean. Yeah, you plan on doing that anyways. Probably. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, okay, uh, I think we're ready to go back to the office area and go through the amenities. Okay. okay. So as soon as you, where the office is, there's also a game room or an arcade room inside of the office. Um, they had, did they have a pool table? They had a pool table. Yeah. A couple of arcade games. Yeah. Um, it was Just small. Just a little hangout for the kids. Yep. Yeah, it was busy. Yep. It was, it's, if, if it was raining or something, yeah. it was some place for the kids to go. Absolutely. To keep occupied. Yep, and in that same um, side of the building, you had your camp store and office. So uh, your normal camp store, they had about anything you need if you forgot something at your house. Mm -hmm. um, and then always a row of toys. And like souvenir <laughs> items. Souvenirs. <laughs> yep. Very friendly, very nice. Um, yeah. Inside nice. the office, you can get uh, like your mini golf putters right. and balls, and that is at no additional cost. Mm -hmm. They have a mini golf course across the road from the office. Yep, so that's an 18 hole. Um, it was pretty tricky. Uh, some of the obstacles that they have were, you know, some real competitive. So, um, yeah, but it was fun. We, I mean, it was free and it took us an hour with, with our kids. So it was something to do. It was right along the creek. So it was actually a pretty nice little Peaceful. spot. Yeah. yeah. Behind the office, they have a new in-ground pool that is fenced in. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice pool. It's three to four feet deep. Um, it was big, though, and it clean. And they clean. have right there, they have um, bathrooms and yep. a laundry room, yep. which is coin metered, right? It was actually very nice and clean. Um, yeah, but it was coin. Um, I didn't see a sign, so I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it was definitely metered washer and dryer. Okay. Um, and then behind, uh, back by the pool again, we have um, a couple different sets of playground. Yeah, it's like a big uh, yard area where there's a few different sets of playgrounds that are within that yard area. Mm -hmm. They have the pavilion um, with a community fireplace. Yep. Um, and back there is uh, also their fishing pond. Yep, so they actually have two fishing ponds. 
Um, one is an actual pond, and one was um, a repurposed pool. So that was kind of neat because you could you walked through the fence area and it was all cement all the way around. You didn't have to fight with. It was weeds easy or... for the kids to fish. They so didn't have to fight with weeds. Yeah. Um, so that was that was pretty cool. Um, they had a fishing derby while we were there. Yeah, Hagen won a fishing derby. Yep. He it made his whole weekend. So if you know us and follow our videos, you know Hagen. Hagen loves to fish, so it made his whole day. Uh, he was able to go down and catch the biggest fish. And they gave him a $20 bill, a $10 gift card for the uh, camp store, and a free candy bar. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it made his whole, whole weekend. Whole weekend, right. Um, right, so back up, we had mentioned there was a pavilion there. This mm -hmm. weekend they had a karaoke night. Um, they had a band playing one night, and that's where they held like their craft for the kids yep. to do. And that's uh, the craft was free too. Yep, so free craft. It was actually a good uh, craft. It wasn't like they had to put a whole bunch of stuff together. It was like a... Like, wooden plaques. Yeah, wooden plaques that, that they got to paint. paint. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think Hagen did a, a rhino and Charlotte did a heart. So, yep. they, they uh, again, it was free and it, it took up about an hour. Kept the kids busy. Yeah. They also had a, a scavenger hunt for back to school supplies, which was kind of neat. Yeah. Um, and the, if you look at their schedule they it seems like almost every weekend they have organized activities yep. for the kids to do which is nice yep. um, it's definitely a fun place to be and go yes um, one I guess one thing to mention um, that is not part of the campground but it's inside of the campground they have a rodeo Reese Ranch rodeo um, the entrance is in to the rodeo is inside the campground. Right, so you don't have to. You can you can bring your ATV, you can bring your side by side, mm -hmm. and you can drive that. You can walk back if you want. It's about a mile, probably. Um, we just we took our truck, went up, plenty of room to park. Um, it was ten dollars for adults to get in, yeah. and kids under twelve were free. Yeah, they had that was a really fun night. Um, the kids really enjoyed it. They both want to buy horses now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but we didn't really know what to expect going in either. Can you take backpacks? You can't right. take backpacks, but they are searched. Um, they have food available. Yes. They have uh, adult beverages available for yep. purchase. Yep. So they don't want you bringing in stuff. Yeah. They want you to support their uh, their their cause or whatever. But yeah. um. Yeah, we took some blankets in. It was a good night. Um, it was fun. I think it was three three hours. This was actually Hagen's weekend for winning. Yes, it was. Because they also did a race for the kids where all the kids went out into the arena at the rodeo, took off one shoe, and they had to race back, find their shoe, put it on, and then race back Go to back the clown. and catch the clown. Hagen yeah. won that as well. Yeah. So it, he was having a, a, a winning good weekend. weekend. That's right. <laughs> um, so that was neat because you never had to leave the campground to go to that. Um, never had to get back up on that on the road or anything. Um, the area had a bunch of stuff to do. You're right outside of Corning, so you're not far from Watkins Glen. There's uh, yeah. you're not far from like wineries and breweries. Um, the Corning Museum of Glass is right, right there that yep. you could go do if you wanted to. Yep, golf courses. If, there's a Walmart, you know, within 15 <laughs> miles. Tyler always loves to mention Walmart. Hey, you never know. <laughs> But, where are we at? Um, I think... The Wi-Fi? Oh, yes. Um, free Wi-Fi. Yes. We didn't use that. We didn't. There's just enough service there where you could check your emails, um, get on Facebook. Yeah. Um, so we didn't have to get the Wi-Fi, but um, that is something that they offer. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I think we've got everything covered. I, I would say one um, thing, gas or electric, golf carts, ATVs, UTVs, mm -hmm. you had everything there. Um, it is a place to go and have fun. Everyone was, it's a fun place to be. Yes, Yeah. Agreed. It's no. a very active yes, campground. Yes, very active campground. Very active. Everyone was willing to be social and come over and visit. Yeah. We made a lot of new friends this weekend, so yeah, we, had a good, fun. we had a good time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... That's it for this campground. Uh, next weekend we are headed to Letchworth uh, State Park in yeah. New York. So uh, very excited to see what that has to offer. They call that the uh, Grand Canyon of the Northeast. So 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Um, again, we had a lot of uh, new subscribers this week. Yes, um, thank you. So thank you guys very much. Keep hitting that button. Yes, <laughs> this button right here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, maybe we'll see you guys on the road.